Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you as we come here to celebrate the sacred mysteries today on Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent, and also our student mass. Let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I've greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, what I've done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, the most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God, of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness, grant those who steer, steer into a sense of devotion, the gracious hearing when they cry out to you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading today, reading from the book of Prophet Daniel, being named Jesus said, Is it true, Shandrach, Meshach, and Yogo, that you will not serve my God? worship the golden statue that I set up. They're ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments, otherwise you shall be instantly cast in the white hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, as we go, answer King of the There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. For our God who we serve can save us from the white hot furnace and from your hands, O King, can he save us. But even if we will not know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up, King of the Nebuchadnezzar, the face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual, and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and cast them into the white hot furnace. And the Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked the nobles, do we not cast these men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered, but he replied, I see four men unfettered and unhurt walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like the Son of God. And when Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any God except their own God. The word of the Lord. Responsorial song. Glory and praise for heaven. Glory and praise for heaven. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Praise for the result of all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name. Praise for the result of all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory. Praise for the result of all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of the kingdom. Praise for the result of all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths of your throne upon the chair. Praise for the result of above all forever. Glory and praise for heaven. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven. Praise for the glorious forever. Glory and praise for heaven. Blessed are they who have kept the word of the generous heart and the yield of 
Proverbs with perseverance. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of, we are descendants of Abraham, but never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. The slave does not remain in household forever. The son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me, because my word is no room among you. I tell you, what I have seen in the Father's presence, and do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you'd be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one Father God. Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, He would love you. For I came from God, and I am here. I did not come on my own, but He sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. serving other gods. And sometimes we can serve you know, the God of greed. And we want things. We want toys. We want you know, other things. We want to have more than someone else. That's not what God wants us to do. He wants to love each other. And not be jealous of each other. Be kind. Kind of virtue that's been found up. We want to make sure that we're loving each other. And not bullying someone. That we be vice. We want to make sure that we are kind to each other. And then in the gospel, again, we talk about doing um, right by others and to love each other. That's what Jesus wants us to do. And so when they want to kill him, that's not a God. God will never tell you to go on and hurt someone, or bully someone, or be unkind to someone. We want to make sure as we go along in our studies um, with 200 of you here um, that we are practicing what Jesus wants us to do and not um, you know, going off and, and uh, purposely teasing somebody or hurting someone, even with our words, you know, that we're not gossiping or hurting someone with that. So as we go away from readings today, how can we be more kinder? How can we really be more loving? Practicing virtue comes up and less vice comes down. Lord, please listen to the prayers we have to offer you at this time. Help, help.
compelled by the courage of God's faithful ones, we pray, have mercy, God, in your kindness. The church may embrace the cost of discipleship before the powers of the world, we pray, have mercy, God, in your kindness. That agents of violence may embrace peace, lest they be consumed by hatred, we pray, have mercy, God, in your kindness. That those who suffer injustice and be purified in faith, made strong in righteousness, we pray, have mercy, God, in your kindness. The suffering of the sick may be eased by the divine presence, we pray, have mercy, God, in your kindness. That we may have courage to embrace suffering for the sake of our faith, we pray, have mercy, God, in your kindness. And on this Mass, we pray for Linda and Skasia Lubeck and the family, we pray, have mercy, God, in your kindness. We also pray for all those in the world, United States, uh, affected by the coronavirus, those who have died, those who are hurting, those who are in hospitals. We pray for all the ones suffering from it and their families. And we pray for the world for healing. We pray, have mercy, God, in your kindness. That the dead may be gathered among the righteous of every age, we pray, have mercy, God, in your kindness. Seed of mercy, we are distorted by the sins that bind us. Who the fires of rage that turn us against each other. May this holy season be for us a time of transformation and healing. Though our Savior Jesus Christ has reconciled the world to you now and forever. Amen. Bless you, Lord God, of all creation. With your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth, the work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be Lord God, of all creation. With your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine, the work of human hands become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and our good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings, which you have given to be offered the honor of your name. Grant that they may become remedies for our healing. Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty eternal God, that through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we claim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the Son of the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and unwillingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broken, 
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death to the Lord, fast your resurrection, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that all is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Timorous and us all, we pray. O the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. I praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. We await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant for peace and unity accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other final peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy for you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. For the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine. They may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Just so everybody knows that's going to be watching this, um, the students pulled a good April Fools on me. They did not show up today. So it was just my, me, myself, and I at the, uh, at the Mass today, so following the night. Please bow your heads. Attend, Almighty God, the prayers of your people, and as you endow them with confident hope in your compassion, let them feel as ever the effects of your mercy through Christ the Lord. We have confessions tomorrow on Thursday from 6 to 7 here at St. William, and then on, on Saturday from 3 to 4, just as we're preparing, uh, get, getting ready for Holy Week. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ending. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.